<laughs> Don't hate me for saying this, but this might be better than s'mores. I, I, I have created fire. Today we are going on a big adventure. We're going camping. In my parents' backyard. So in case you missed our last few posts, we've stopped traveling and for the past five weeks we've been quarantining at Catherine's parents' house in Austin. So one of the things that we've missed most about traveling full time besides, well, actually getting to do things and do fun things is camping, being outside, hiking, all the outdoor things that we love to do. So we thought it would be fun to go camping but from the safety of my parents' <laughs> backyard. So this big gravel pit in my parents' backyard is going to be our home for the night. Many years ago, we used to have a big playground here, which actually would be kind of fun to have here now. We're getting pretty bored. We really wish my parents had a pool. The playground would be really fun. But for tonight, it'll be our campsite. So we thought, there's grass in the backyard, but we thought that all this gravel and stuff would maybe be like a little softer to sleep on. And there's already a fire pit, so it's ready to go. All right, time to get this bad boy set up. They say it takes, I think, 10 breaths. I don't know, maybe if you're like Bigfoot or something, <laughs> big breaths. <sighs> oh, I feel, light yeah. <laughs> I feel lightheaded now. I just want everybody to know, it took me nine breaths to blow up my sleeping pad and the ninth one was just for good measure. <laughs> I think he might have like the newer model that doesn't take as long it to blow Technically is, up. yes, but I, think, <laughs> I don't think the breath is any different. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just weak. Our home is made for the night, so we're just gonna give you a little tent tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very short tour. Yeah. So basically we have this, oh, sorry. <laughs> we have this tent, it's very small in here. Uh, we have this tent, it's an REI Half Dome 2 Plus. Yep. I'm cheating by reading the tent. <laughs> so we got this tent a couple years ago. We use it for both regular camping, like when you, when you actually drive up to the site, as well as backpacking. Mm -hmm. So it fits two people, plus it'll fit Kona, plus it'll fit both of our backpacking packs. So it's really good for those backpacking trips where we have to store every Thing in here and it's pretty comfortable it's the perfect size yeah it's very comfortable and also it's held up through a good amount of camping trips like rain lots of rain yeah. heavy wind right yeah yeah so it's pretty durable <laughs> so one crucial piece that we have for camping and backpacking is the sleeping pad this thing has been awesome this is my second one although I have to admit we were in uh, we were camping in Utah and somehow a little hole got in it and we were in this awesome TP at this campsite but the TP bottom was concrete and it was really hard so I just had to sleep with my sleeping bag on the floor. That kind of sucked but these have been durable otherwise and they're very comfortable. And then we have these backpacking sleeping bags. They're kind of mummy style so they taper towards your feet and they are freaking warm. We've slept in some really cold conditions and this thing keeps us nice and toasty. I don't know the exact rating on it but we'll link to all the products that are in our tent below so you can check them out. But this was actually a pretty affordable sleeping bag if I remember correctly which is good because Kona likes to chew on it. <laughs> so one day we'll probably have to like patch this up or replace it or something, but it's a great sleeping bag. The next piece on our tour is our inflatable pillows. These things are awesome. They, they're inflatable. So they scrunch down to like softball size. And so you just puff it up with the little thing here. They have a similar uh, inlet thing as our sleeping pads. But these things are awesome because, it's, because it is inflatable, you can pump it up to as firm or as soft as you like. We also have those little camping chairs back there which fold up pretty small and we've taken them on backpacking trips but you could always use like a tree stump or a big rock I guess instead but they're really comfortable and we like having them with us but they're good for both regular camping instead of like those really large camping chairs or for backpacking.
this might take a while. <laughs> I, I have created fire. Have my fire. Ah, <laughs> it's coming, the smoke. <laughs> coming into my face. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a toasty campfire on like an 80 degree Texas day, but it's our favorite part of camping. So we'll just scoop <laughs> if we're getting too hot. <laughs> Love these chairs, but being in this gravel. They just sink right in. I'm almost sitting on the ground. <laughs> Wee! They're like recliners now. Yeah, it's like our extra recliner. Oh <laughs> Way to go. This should be it. good. Watch get this. It. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so while we get the fire going, which if I do say so myself, it's looking pretty good. We're gonna cook some dinner but we're gonna cheat and use the grill instead. We're grilling up some corn, corn on the cob, some veggies skewers we're gonna throw on right now. Boom, boom. And then these beef sausages here. So we could have done this on the campfire, but we figured it, we have the grill, so why not <laughs> a little easier? But we're curious if you guys have any cool or delicious camp meals that you do, leave them below in the comments. We, we're always up for, for new ideas. One last crucial piece to this meal, corn tortillas. I am so excited about this. Adam crushed it. So one of the things I'm most excited about is this corn. We've been doing this thing lately where we put this, it's like this vegan jalapeno cilantro lime mayo on corn as we cook it. So in a, uh, if you've ever heard of elote, elotes, um, it has like a mayonnaise type sauce on the end and some cheese. But what we've been doing is just cooking it with this kind of mayonnaise sauce. It has a ton of flavor. So there's a bunch of spices on here, some cilantro, lime. We have like chili powder and stuff. It looks really good. <laughs> How's it cooked? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> like I have corn <laughs> all up in me. That's the best part. Corn on the cob is like really sexy to eat <laughs> on camera. Um, it's really warm and it's still juicy. It's not dried out. It's perfect. All right, now for the star of the show, the little Texas sausage wrap. So we have these are all beef uh, sausages here. They're made in San Antonio, so you know they're gonna be good. And then what I like to do is I like to put them on a corn tortilla and I did them over the grill. They're pretty crunchy. They're really stiff. They should be good though, but that's perfect because if you're at a campfire, you would normally like put them over the campfire, but like I said, had the grill. So, and then we throw mustard on top of there. Oh, we love mustard. Yeah. It's like a Texas thing apparently. Yeah. We love mustard. Yeah, so most people put like ketchup and stuff, but mustard's our jam. We even do uh, our fries and mustard. So I know it's linked to Texas it's thing. A, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Juicy, super juicy. The mustard gives you the tang. You got the, the creamy, like juicy sausage. And then the tortilla wrapping it all together. Like a little blanket. It's perfect. <laughs> mm. And for dessert, we're gonna stray from the traditional campfire dessert of s'mores and try something new that as soon as I knew we were gonna do this backyard camping vlog, I started Googling like fun campfire desserts and I found this and I've seriously been excited about this for like three, four weeks now. So what it is, it's an apple pie pocket, I think is the name. So it's just like delicious pocket of basically what you would put in an apple pie. So we have Granny Smith apples in here. There's a ton of sugar in here. There's some oats, there's some flour. There's a lot of butter. There's cinnamon, um, a little bit of lemon juice. I think that might be it. So it's pretty simple to make. You basically put together the 
apple part first and then you make the topping part separate and you add the topping part to it it was very simple very easy something that you could easily take camping with you or even make this in your house if you want but it looks amazing and um i definitely ate pieces of the butter with all the sugar on it earlier and it was so so good. so good so all you have to do is you just throw this on the campfire i think for like eight to twelve minutes and then it'll be like a gooey hopefully soft delicious apple pie mess that we get to enjoy ah i'm so excited and just like the campfire campsite meals don't hold out us don't hold out on us on your campfire desserts yeah, as well we want to hear about ones. those too so one of our other favorites there are s'mores obviously it's a classic but we like to do reese's peanut butter cups instead of chocolate bars That's so a, it's a oh, fun little twist it's it takes so, it to the next level <laughs> so good so i also forgot to mention that we will put the the link to this recipe in yeah. the description below we made a few modifications with um, like gluten-free flour and stuff so hopefully it still turns out good but should be good I don't know, no matter from what the little pieces we tried earlier it yeah. looks amazing <laughs> Oh man. You can hear it, you can see it sizzling. I'm starting to get wafts of the cinnamon and the apples. Mm, it's gonna be good. <laughs> oh. We almost forgot the most important ingredient. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> That ice cream was rock hard, but it's starting to melt in here. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm a little scared I'm gonna burn my mouth. So I'm gonna grab a decent amount of ice cream to cool it off. Got a couple little apple pieces. And some ice cream in this. <laughs> it tastes just like a like crustless apple pie. It is so good. We opted to go for like a caramel type ice cream just because we thought that sounded really good with it. And oh my goodness, this is amazing. Nice Don't hate me for saying this, but this might be better than s'mores. <laughs> just Those like fighting words you're saying there. I mean, anything with ice cream is like always my favorite. But yeah, this is just like hot and cold. And a little crunchy from the apples, but creamy from the ice cream. Mm. That's the best combo. I love this. <laughs> so good i don't have anything to add you said it perfectly <laughs> it's amazing it's so good oh man there's chocolate in the ice cream and the chocolate's mm -hmm. starting to melt mm. Mm -hmm. dang this is, good I mean, choice here babe we can make this in the van mm, that's a good van one this is like a good van recipe mm -hmm. too which is dangerous because we don't need to be eating this every day yeah <laughs> It was a lot of butter and sugar. Yeah. All right, the sun went down. We put the fire out. We're in the tent. I'm gonna unwind, watch a little YouTube like we like to do. <laughs> yeah, so we've been hooked on watching old vlogs of the Endless Adventure. Mm -hmm. So if you don't follow the Endless Adventure, go check them out. They're yeah. one of our favorite a lot of fun to travel watch. vloggers. And we've seen all their most recent ones. So we've been going back and trying to watch all the ones we haven't seen. Yeah. And we've been watching like... Ten, yeah, we watch at least probably about an hour a night and like that's two and a half hours sometimes. sometimes yeah but it's just yeah fun. it's fun it's getting us our travel fix right now and yeah. it's just a way for us to unwind mm -hmm. so we're gonna try to watch about an hour tonight yep. go to bed and we'll see y'all in the morning i got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start i got the feeling when the windows roll last night i don't want to point any fingers but someone's a sleeping bag hog <laughs> yes kona likes to sleep like in the sleeping bag with me and she was taking so much of it that i had no covers and it actually got kind of cold like low 50s last night yeah, a little, a little chilly, chilly. these sleeping bags are so warm though i was sweating at some points yeah Were it was you? a mix of hot and cold yeah so some... but i had a little extra heater I woke one. up a few times and had to get out of the covers because I was sweating, but I got right back in them pretty quick. It was about as good as sleeping on the yeah. ground can be. Yeah, I was off and on, but the times I were on, I slept pretty good. Yeah, this last like couple hours, I slept really well. We just yeah. woke up at like seven something, which I'm impressed that we slept till seven yeah, it's something like 7 out 15. here. Oh. I do have to be honest though, the pollen in the 
allergies were getting to me right before we were going to go to bed and my nose was completely stopped up and I almost gave up and went inside <laughs> to the bed but I stuck it out. I was going to still stay out here by myself I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it. Oh, me thank too. You, sweetie. <laughs> Best thing about backyard camping is coffee is just steps away. But so tasty though. <laughs> it's much needed because yeah. we went inside and we saw what we looked like or we looked like when we first filmed it right when we woke up. And oh man, it's rough. we need all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, we had so much fun yeah. camping in my parents' backyard. To be honest, the last five weeks have been really, really hard on us. As we can assume, they've been really hard on all of you. And we don't want to sit here and complain about our situation no. because we still have it really, really good compared to so many people. But they're, it's been really challenging for quite a few reasons. Yeah, and as cheesy as this may seem, <laughs> it was just a fun little adventure just to kind of get out and do what we love. And we yeah. had a blast doing it. Yeah, it was so much fun. So we hope you guys enjoyed our yeah. little backyard camping adventure. It's fun. Maybe you'll even you should try it. it out for you yourself. You should do it. It was fun. <laughs> so... We're gonna finish our coffee. Mm -hmm. We're gonna break down all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe like shower and look more for some. Yeah, probably a good idea. <laughs> and then just enjoy the rest of our Sunday. So we will see you guys next see ya. time. Butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I don't know if you've heard that song. Oh, she's sweet, but a psycho, but it's basically her theme song. <laughs> so anytime it comes on the radio, I instantly think of her. She's sweet, but a psycho.